I just think about uh, the whole situation, Britney Spears. I don't know what year it was, but I think it was before uh, the economic breakdown, I believe, or maybe a little bit after, maybe around that time. Uh, I believe 2008, Heath Ledger died, and I was just sitting, I would sit on my computer. Uh, I had my, uh, you know, desktop, I had my TV on, and I saw, you know, uh, just said, like, they were showing over and over, but it was around that period, you know, Britney Spears, there was videos of her, like, she would go for coffee and buy her Marlboro, Marlboro Light cigarettes. It's like, wow, Marlboro Lights, really? Why? It wasn't about that. That's like what I used to do, just to avoid people, you know? I was like, I don't want to be around any of you, majority of you, you know? I was like, I don't say it was the best time of my life, it was right around the time I remember Bohem, we used to make videos on YouTube, and I would come, you know, I would just sit there at night, and uh, there was chat rooms, but, you know, there was just, Bohem would pop with videos, like, oh, he just made another one, you know? It wasn't the best time of my life, I just felt a little bit free. You know, it was at nighttime too. It's like right now, it's just nocturnal, you know, it's peaceful. You know, there's hardly, not just noise, but it's just, you know, not too many people around, especially when you go out. It feels really cool, you know? Even like, you know, riding a bicycle at night, oh, it's just the best sometimes, you know? It is kind of freaky, creepy, probably because there's a lot of people out there, like the ones who are, but, you know, I used to do the same thing too. You know, I used to go to my car, I used to wake up like nine, ten o'clock sometimes, p.m. I'd be like, oh, wow. You know, and I used to go uh, and get my new Portuguese two packs, I think, you know, and maybe a cup of coffee. And I was just like, why is that so uh, bad? And then, you know, maybe she just partied this and that. Maybe she just, I don't know what her lifestyle was, you know. People said this and that. She used to hang around with uh, uh, Paris Hilton, I believe. And I was like, why would she, you know, it's like, and it was the whole incident where like, someone took a photograph of like her legs. I'm like, what about that guy that took the picture? You know, it's like, yeah, I mean, she had a baby or something. She's not going to look that gorgeous. That's what, you know, uh, females go through when they get, have childbirth. But it's like, you know, what about you guys? Like taking that picture and just looking at it and shit. It was creep I was creeped out. You know, it was just disgusting, you know. And then like paparazzi chasing her. I was like, wow, this is fucking weird, you know. And I'm not saying that it's, it's about certain things. I'm like, you know, I'm not a big fan of it. I do like some of her music, but it's like, you know, I'm trying to see myself. And it's like, you know, I kind of used to do the same thing. I just, you know, it was a kind of other people. That's not who I want to be. You know, that's not who I am. I just like the jobs I had before that, just like, you know, it's just a drama and anger over, you know, people being stupid and, just, you know, not aware how to do their job. They just, I just didn't want a part of that. You know, I just felt like, you know, people just want to, uh, to push me off the off the planet Earth just for like you know I don't know using my mind and doing the right thing, you know I was I was like, tired of it. Was it the best times of my life? You know uh, those years I probably would say that yeah because I had some peace because there wasn't people around except people on the internet, you know there was those people. But I was like well probably they know, they won't know where I live and then just got like oh fuck maybe they do. But like, you know I'm not gonna be scared of someone walking up to my house or something like that. But you know it was just it was very odd and I remember you know. I was in, I don't know, it was in news, it was some kind of uh, comedy show, and they were talking about a movie, how to uh, alien, how to, um, how to alienate people, it was like, it was a, they said it was a book, but it was a movie or something like that, and I was just thinking, like, oh, I just stream it and shit, and people got angry over that, I'm like, well, what's the fucking internet, there's plenty of that, and I realized people just didn't know it, whatever they knew, they just didn't talk about it, you know, those mega videos, those other, like, stream sites that just, you know, were just heavy and popular. You know, it's like, well, what do you got to me? Like, what, are you going to sue me for that? For what? For, like, you know, streaming a, a movie that's free? You know? And it was just funny. Like, that's the reason why I would want to alienate myself with people. How to lose friends and alienate people. And alienate, alienate from people. It's like, you know, chances are those people aren't just your friends. And I don't think that movie was about that. You know, because I saw, like, snippets of it. By the way, it's a funny word, yeah. And it was just like, it wasn't, I don't think it was about that, but it's like, I could really understand that. You know, it's, it's not a joke. Like, a lot of people, they want to alienate from you. Like, you know, guys are crazy and ridiculous. You know, but it was just like, how did those people know on, the, on that show, cable TV show, that I was thinking that or something like that? You know, maybe I was there. You know, and it's like, there were just so many horrible, creepy things. I was just creeped out, man. You know, I was just like, what the fuck? But like, like, am I going to fucking go to the actor and be like, hey, I'm going to stream your movie for free? You know, I got more uh, respect for that shit. But it's just, you know, the title alone, they were just like, wow. Well, why didn't you? I mean, it was just so ridiculous and corny. 
you know? And those other things in Comedy Central, you know, I already talked about it. They, I forget what that guy was, you know, he was like a, it was Insomniac Theater, you know, David Tell. And I was just thinking, of it, they had this commercial, and it was like, about a headache, and you put apply on your forehead. It was just like, it was like shocking me. So I was like, fuck, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna watch a show, but every time he goes to commercial, I'm just switching it off. Like, I haven't timed it for like a minute or something. You know, and then like a month or two months later, our, our product works. A commercial is, uh, you know, uh, frustrating, but a product works. Like, and I was like, oh, probably need that product from your commercial, <laughs> you know? But it's like, how the fuck do you just know that shit? Now I get it, you know? But it was just the whole thing. Like, you know, I'm up at night. I don't want to go drive around, pick this and that. It's boring, but you know, a lot of times, like being in the daytime is kind of creepy. Even today, like somebody just, you know, the same person, like, Second time they did, they just pull up to our driveway and just park there, you know, and they go into my neighbors. I'm like, oh, come on. Like my dad and mom, they, they didn't talk to them about that. You know, it's like, you, you, like, I don't have time to record you and get angry at you. You know, I was, I'm working on my car, you know, but it's like, that's one of the reasons why I would just, you know, stay up at night and alienate from people, people like her and like those two people that came in there, you know, even one of the ladies, you know, like, you saw, my dad walked over to her, and I was going to walk through it. I pulled out my phone, but she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Like, how do you not know? I was just right here, and you walked over there to that house. You saw the driver, and it's the second time I saw you do that. You know, it's like, how do you not know that stuff? I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, it's like, you know, how, how to lose friends. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't want you as a friend either. Just how to alienate, you know, yourself from people, you know? So when, you know, Britney Spears was doing that, it wasn't, I mean, those days when she was, like, driving with a baby, and, you know, I was like, wow, man, like, how the fuck, you know what could have happened if, like, you know, somebody else hit you? What could have happened to the little, little infant? It was like a, I don't know, it was one or two years old, but it's, like, scary, scary as fuck, you know? And that, that was probably the creepiest part of it. But, you know, it's just like, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of understand staying up and I just, you know, uh, living in a paternal line, just be, being away from you people. Like, you shouldn't be shocked by that. You know? I, I just, you know, it's like, I, I mean, you really can't do anything with this fucking, you know, everyone angry at me or some shit. Like, what the fuck are you angry about, bro? Leave me the fuck alone. All of you. I know you could take this, you know, put it in your movie. I don't even give a fuck anymore. You want me to bend over and, like, you take my pants off for you? I mean, jeez, you guys are gross. You know, it's like your whole fucking little movie industry, comedy world, like fucking music. Just fuck you already. Go fuck yourselves. You guys are fucking idiots. Why the fuck do you think I, you know, don't want anyone, don't want to see anybody, you know, you know even for years. I mean, you guys are creepy as fuck, all of you. Your ego and all that shit. You know. <laughs> yeah, I would do, you know, I would get up late at night, just fucking, I didn't want to see anybody. You know, I don't want to see anybody, not just from work, like a lot of that shit. Even people show me, it's like, how the fuck, you know, I said some crazy shit. It wasn't even true when you put that in your fucking movie. It's like, you guys are fucking, like, awful, bro. Like, that's like, can I even sue you at this point? With, like, your lawyer, you know, or, like, you want to grope my mom or some shit for me to sue you? You guys are fucking joking, clowns. Like, that's why I don't want to, you know, that's why I stayed up and just, you know, didn't want to go out into the world and shit. But, you know, it's hilarious to you, right? Yeah. But keep fucking laughing at it, you know? And you're a little fucking princess over there and shit. And who's the king and the prince and shit? You guys are fucking... I mean, you guys are abnormal, man. You know? And yeah, there's people just want to inflict abuse on me. Like, I don't give a fuck about you and you, t you know, you're like saying, I'm a, <laughs> you remember your card from, well, great, bro, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't, still haven't. You know, you guys are fuck. I mean, this is demented as shit. And it's like, fuck, bro, you guys are creepy as fuck. Seriously. Like, I don't owe you anything. You understand that? I don't owe you anything. You know? The, uh, my peace matters is real. I just, I don't think a lot of you people even respect that. I know what it is. You're caught up in your crazy lives. You think the shit is, you're doing is normal. The gray one to disrespect, disrespect one another, you know? The shit that's on your people's minds, fucking nasty and filthy. I mean, fuck, even that dude that, you know, crawled to that, you know, football field just to get a prison. I mean, 
he probably, you know, enjoyed himself in there. That's disgusting to begin with, you know. You know, you guys, you know, and, you know, <laughs> I could go on and on, but it's like, you know, I, I try to um, have some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know what it is, uh, whenever somebody, I think it's empathy, when someone, someone goes to that, you know, I'm like, and I kind of realized, you know, she was drinking, Bitty Spears drinking, then this and that, but it's like, I put myself in their shoes, and I'm like, well, I kind of did that, but not that, that, you know, you know, but it's, it, it just c comes normal, just that, you know, I remember somebody saying, you know, Oh, she, oh, she does, you go out for coffee and say, well, what the fuck do you do with your life? And that was the most ridiculous part as well. You know, I just don't got time to make these videos, this and that, you know, I want to kind of get out of my line, but like, fuck, bro, <laughs> you know? It's like all of you, there's a helicopter or some idiot who just, you know, wants to, you know, stand there, you know, just like kind of, you know, just get me angry. Like, I, I don't have time for your shit, man. You know, you could call me the angry guy. Put it when you Seth Rogen movies. You know, just whatever. I don't give a fuck. It's not like I'm gonna watch it anyway. I got better shit to do with my life. You're not that. Uh, you're not that great, creative, or funny to begin with. I don't kiss people's asses because you know uh, they they got money or you know they got a career. I don't do that. You know, your your whole world is fucking fake. You guys are. There's more real stuff around you that you could be be into and stuff. You know, some people are, but they, they don't want to be known or something. Because who knows what the fuck you'll do to them. You know, it's like, yeah, I, I, how to lose friends and how to lose friends. Ah, yeah, maybe they were, to begin with, maybe you're just honest and a decent person. They won't like you or they hate you. You know, that's how I lost friends because they really weren't friends to begin. They're just fraudulent people just waiting to stab you in the back, copy what you do, stalk you. I don't know, throw you in the bathtub, this and that, when you're not looking, and do something when you're asleep. I mean, you guys are fucking creepy and degenerates, man. And get offended. You have the right to be offended. You should be. It's yourself. How you are.